Hi, I'm Freya and this is Sarah and we're both exercise physiologists at BJC Health in Chatswood. Now it's been quite a while since our last instalment of Jam, but we've been concocting our best juicy nuggets to come up with the next instalment. Yep, so the next couple of videos are really about helping you progress with your strength training. Um, so it's a really exciting point in your training where you might be feeling good, you've use some dumbbells, you've used some bands, but now it's time to start using the barbell uh, or some kettlebells. And so we're gonna show you how. Okay, so as you can see, I'm at the squat rack at the moment. Uh, this is a barbell. And so we're gonna take you through how to actually position the barbell behind your head, uh, which is a great way that you can progress your squats, your lunges, and even if you're ready to start doing overhead lifts. So often you'll come to the barbell rack, uh, the barbell's down low. Um, but first we need to get it at the right height. So a nice guide, if, if you're looking to put the barbell behind your head, is shoulder height. So I'm nice and short. This is gonna be my friend where I end up putting the barbell. Um, if you can, lift it yourself, but otherwise ask for someone to help you so that you can get it up to the right height safely. So that's the first step. Now that the bar is at the correct position on the rack, we're gonna show you how to get it in the correct position on your body. So the first step that Sarah is showing us is that she's finding the bony prominence on the back of her neck. And this is a point that is the most sticky out on the back of your neck. Now the bar wants to be just below this point. Next step is to pop your head underneath the bar. As you're doing this, you want to squeeze your shoulders back together to create a bit of a muscle shell that the bar is going to be resting on. After this, your hands are about shoulder width apart and what you're going to do is tuck your elbows down towards the side of your body to engage all of your muscles that are going to help the bar stay in place. So as you can see, Sarah now has the bar in the perfect position and she's able to perform various exercises with good stability of that bar on her back. She's not losing any form with those exercises. Looking good, Sarah. So thank you guys for watching another installment of Jam. We hope you enjoyed and can take a couple of these tips to your own training. <laughs>